Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to continue learning how to multiply things in algebra when you have negative and positive numbers, that, or expressions in this case. Um, so what if you had something like negative 6 times 10x? Now notice I erased the previous part of the uh, board where we had the rules listed, because ultimately you're going to have to memorize them anyway. So the rule for multiplication is when the signs match, you get a positive answer. If they're both positive, they're both negative, you always get a positive result. But if the signs are different from one another, if they're opposite, then you always get a negative answer. And in this case, you have negative 6 times a positive 10x. Now, this 10x really means 10 times x. We don't know what x is. It's not a number. And even though this section says multiplying real numbers, now you, by now you should know in algebra that this x is just, it's just a placeholder for some unknown value. So you carry the x along for the ride. So in this case, since the signs are opposite of one another, negative and positive, the answer will be negative. And when you multiply things like this, you can't do anything with the x, but you can certainly multiply the numbers together. 6 times 10 is 60. So you get 60. Now don't forget x has to come along for the ride because he's also being multiplied as well. It's just we don't know what x is, so we can't do anything further. And the answer in this case is negative 60x. All right. Um, Notice really quickly, I'll tell you, when we learned how to add and subtract like terms before when, with, when we're doing addition uh, in the past, the terms that you're adding or subtracting have to match. They have to both have x's or something. They have to kind of represent the same thing when you're adding or subtracting. But that's not true with multiplying or dividing. Uh, multiplying and dividing, you just basically multiply the numbers or later on we'll be dividing the numbers. The variable just kind of comes along for the ride. So the rules are slightly different, but when doing a lot of problems, you will get the hang of it. So what if we had negative 5? times negative 5x. Well, 5 times 5 is 25, and these signs are both negative. Negative times negative gives you positive, so it's going to be positive 